Welcome to Spray Like Nation to another wonderful video, another wonderful day. I got Brent Rollins here, my cohort, my compadre, my mentor in many ways. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you, Josh. We're here from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Studio 53 today. No, we're not. We're not at 53. Oh, I'm sorry. We've upgraded. We're at 1037. 1037. New studio. We're, we're on the 10th floor today. Yes. And uh, we're in Chattanooga, as mentioned, the home of Samuel L. Jackson. What has that got anything to do with delamination? <laughs> I don't know, but I thought it was an interesting factoid that the uh, the viewers might like to see. Ralphie May was originally born here as well. Hey, um, much like my cohort, Francis, full of French people. Yes. Well, Chattanooga's got a lot of people that were born here. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right. So Not all are well known as Samuel Jackson and Ralphie May, the comedian, but besides that, Chattanooga does love concrete. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I have run into some some delamination issues from time to time in the Chattanooga market back during my concrete days. That's like when stickers get pulled off a uh, hard hat, right? Yeah, it kind of is in a way if you think about it. Um, so delamination is just the separation of that thin surface material at the top of the, the concrete slab, separation from the, the bulk of the concrete down below. Now we're talking about like eighth... Quarter yeah, inch eighth thick. or a quarter I mean, it's inch thick is not going to be much. Absolutely, it's just a. Uh, but it can, you know, as it comes off, it can be unsightly. It can expose some some coarse aggregate. Uh, it can be a, a a problem for things like forklift traffic and other things. You know, you it, it's going to be ugly. I'll tell you that for sure. So it can be caused by uh, a few different reasons. We and and a lot of these. Uh, these concerns that we've been talking about, Josh, are caused by similar things, but it, they are slightly different. So the number one cause for delamination that I've seen has been th because of early finishing. So Yeah, it so goes back into the, the bleed water, looking like it's done when it's not, and a lot of it's got to do with, like we mentioned in the earlier video, the air entrainment being inside a interior slab where yep. they're doing troweling surfaces. And the, for those that don't know, the air content, those bubbles that's in there for free stall that we use it for, can create problems for that bleed water to move through it. So it's, it's, it's breaking it, so it takes longer for it to get there, yeah, which is why you can get that early finishing. Yeah, and in fact, uh, ACI recommends less than 3% air on interior slabs or slabs that are gonna be steel troweled for that reason. Right. Um, many concrete companies will use zero air, and they'll leave just entrapped. the entrapped air in the, in the concrete slab. So uh, for that reason, because it does elevate that risk of, of getting on the concrete too early. And if you think about it, the way, this is how it makes sense to me, is that uh, if you put a steel trowel on concrete and you're really burnishing that surface and you're, you're closing off that surface making it into a glassy shine, right. then that bleed, if the concrete's not finished bleeding, then it's gonna come up underneath that and it's gonna wanna push against that top surface. And so you it, get surface curling. Yeah, it's not, it's more, not the slab curling that we talked yeah, about, kinda, but you get a paste curl. Yeah, kinda. Cause it gets a bubble. That's a great way to put it. So you can have uh, just a few square inches that it could happen to, or it could be many, many square feet over the top of a slab. Um, and I have seen slabs torn out because of it. I mean, it, it can be a very expensive mistake that's made. Um, there are other causes, things like uh, rebar corrosion. So we don't, you, we don't uh, necessarily, in the ready mix world, I didn't th necessarily think of, of rebar corrosion causing delamination. They, don't call, it they call it spalling. Is you, when you talk about rebar corrosion, we're talking about spalling, and that's where uh, chlorides get in and, and break that passive layer, and the rebar starts corroding, and then what it does is that rebar corrodes, it expands. Yep. And it expands quite a bit, and it'll actually break that concrete away from the rebar and, and push it, which creates a delamination spalling, so you have concrete break. Yeah, you end up off. having uh, typically uh, more, it's gonna be a deeper, delaminated section so it's not we're not just talking about the eighth inch or quarter inch anymore we're talking about potentially the entire cover concrete over top of the rebar coming off and and that's a that's a it is referred to as delamination by some folks so we did want to mention it it is kind of a different animal it's caused by different reasons but uh, we did want to bring that up so prevention for for delaminated uh, or surfaces the things that we want to do to, to minimize the chances of this happening don't add air. Yeah, don't don't add air on interior concrete. Uh, exterior, or con please do, but yeah. not yeah. not interior. Um, 
pay attention to those finishing operations. Don't finish while their bleed water is still on the surface. Don't don't trowel uh, bleed water into the surface and those kind of things. But uh, that's really it as far as delamination of troweled surfaces. You really want to to pay attention. And make sure you don't jump on it too quickly. Thank you for another video. Thank you for allowing us to again come into your your homes or your office to watch this. So if you don't mind, subscribe, like, give us that thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, reach out to us through the comments or you can contact us on our website at concretprotection.com. Thank you. Samuel L. Jackson and Ralphie May did not approve the use of their names on this video.